Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to establish communication between MATLAB Simulink model and Codesys project uh, utilizing uh, OPC technology. So in my case I'm assuming that I have control algorithm uh, within the Codesys project. In my case it's just simple PID controller but it doesn't matter for this demonstration. And I assume that I have control object as a model in Simulink. It's also very simple as well, but this is not the issue for this video. So, for example, you have control object, model for testing, and you have designed some uh, interesting control algorithm, and you want to test it uh, within the controller. And you have the problem with uh, how to communicate between this uh, part and uh, Simulink model. We will be using OPC technology. So first let's configure the codices part. Let's start uh, codices OPC configurator. Here we need to append a new PLC, write our project name, uh, it's uh, PID. Here we need to add uh, the new TCP IP communication. OK. And let's save the current configuration. Let's check the communication parameters. OK. As a controller, I will be using my PC. So we need to use this uh, PLC WinNT application. So if we download the Codices project, to this program, uh, our, uh, my PC will be as a controller. OK. That means I have to check that the target settings are set for the PLC WinNT application. And also check that you have tagged this uh, download symbol file option. OK. Now. Let's log in to our WinNT application and he asks us if we want to download the program, of course. But let's not start it for now. So, at this point we have configured the communication from the codices part. Uh, let's go to our Simulink model. We will need uh, OPC toolbox library and three elements specifically from this uh, library OPC configuration, OPC read and OPC write. For this simple demonstration and for showing the concept it will be enough. OK, first we will configure our OPC I have established some OPCs before, but uh, in this case I need Codices OPC. OK. I will increase the timeout. As you can see, it has connected automatically. One more thing from the Codices part. 
you go to resources workspace symbol configuration configure symbol file and I need to export two variables process value and control action okay okay and uh, as I have made some corrections I will download this program again so there will be no problems sorry I forgot about this one okay now everything is okay let's configure OPC read block I want to transfer a uh, control action from Pro uh, Codesys project which will be running on my notebook to my Simulink model to the input port of my control object so control action okay sample time 0 0.1 seconds this I don't need And I need to configure uh, to write my process value and transfer it here. Zero point one sampling time. Okay. So let's test it. Ah, one more thing. I will check the configuration parameters of my Simulink model. Just hit Ctrl E. So start time zero, stop time infinity. I will be using fixed step with sampling time 0 0.1. Okay. And now let's start our controller, which is the my notebook. And this program will be running within it. And let's start our model. I will change my set point and write it. As you can see, the transient process has been successfully started. And if you check these variables, you can see that they are identical. So the communication is working properly. I have showed you the general principle of using OPC technology for this purpose. I hope uh, this has been useful and you will be using it for much more complicated control objects, models, together with uh, complicated disturbances models and so on. And you can test uh, much more sophisticated control algorithms which will be running on the real controller or PC so this uh, simulation will be uh, much more closer to the real life situation to the field conditions the only difference will be that the control object will be not the model in the simulink but the real one but the program and the controller on the notebook on which it will be running it's already as it is will be there so I hope this information has been useful for you 
I hope that you will be watching my future videos. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Stay creative and I'll see you next time.